And those wonderful people out there in the dark. He lived a lonely life. Sad, almost distinct. Like the very last tortured being of his kind. Ancient oil basin makeup scarred his face like some engraved eroded gravestone and rouge upon his slender lip. Twisted in some sunset boulevard where his dreams sucked him out of reality and into safety. I was often visited by men who got a kick out of fanciful femininity. The male visitors that use his body as a safeguard for their old-fashioned, dictated homosexual thoughts. He grew up in an underprivileged part of the city. He was not desired. He had no one to care for him. Fifteen, he fell deeply in love with the Jersey boy. Sickness of the mind. At that time, it was 1952. Here I go! A six-year-old ex-GI arrives home from Denmark where doctors converted him into a woman. He was left as tattered and as torn as the nightdress that now adorned his cold and beating body. Trapped like a market stall pigeon. The relationship weakened, desire now replaced with abuse, merely because of the older boy's sexual confusion all. between straight or gay. And so now, I sit alone, an unloved forever, meaningless to everyone, and stuck at the untouchable aspect of gender mystery. His oily makeup unbroken, as if a death mask, of some ancient Egyptian goddess. They buried him in such finery as posed by some Hollywood queen. No one knew him, they said. More likely, no one cared. 3 a.m. Siren stormed and roared with such carnival growls. They found Sam silent, such distance from the world, bathed in tepid and tortured water from a cold and cracked bathtub. His hands a reminder of such trauma. Dead. 